I'm Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com. I recently viewed a video by Creations with Christina where she used a Quick Cuts Quick Stick to attach tiny layers to her card. I could not find one locally, so of course I decided to make my own. Mine's a little different, but it works great when attaching little pieces to your card. And we're going to attach these little circles that I've punched to a tag and I'll show you how to make the quick stick. Really simple. For those of you that are interested in this tag, it's from the All Wrapped Up cartridge and it's on page 24 of the manual. And this one's cut at 5 inches, but we're gonna, I'm going to demo a 4 inch one so you can see how the quick stick works on just small pieces. And just in case you um, are interested, I'm giving away one of these all wrapped up Imagine cartridges as part of my May 8th birthday celebration. So please visit my blog, paperboutique.blogspot.com, for details. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to, I'll show you how to make the quick stick tool. All it takes is a... Um, not a, a, a very small piece, and I'll show you in a moment, of scotch double-sided tape. I tried to come up with a way to make this with duct tape, but it just didn't work. So you'll need that. And then I'm going to show you, you can use the, the end of a paintbrush, something that has a really fine tip on it. I used a stylus, and this is just a super fine tip and a medium tip stylus, and you could also use a thicker stylus. I'm sure this technique would work on a number of different things, but this is what I've tried. Okay, let me show you how you make it, and then I'll show you how it picks up a small layer. First of all, I hope you can see this, I'm using just a really small, very small piece of double stick tape, and then I'm just putting it on the stylus like this and then I'm just it's so simple it's amazingly simple I wish I would have thought of it before all you do then is just keep twisting it and I remove a little of the stick so it doesn't you know isn't too sticky and that's all you do let me show you how easy it is here's the tag I made and I didn't cut all of the layers this was just a quick tag for the purposes of demonstration and then I took this very small punch, and I just did this so you could see how tiny layers work. And it's a really small punch. I think you can see that. And I printed a square, um, like a one, I think this is, let me measure it. Yeah, one and a half inch square, and I just punched some holes. And I wanted to show you how easy it is with the quick stick tool. The other thing I use is the two-way glue when I'm doing smaller layers. I love this and you'll see this in most of my videos. I put it on and then I let it dry and then you can reposition the layer. But for this we're going to do something a little different. I'm just going to make sure I'm getting glue and you can see that. And all I'm going to do is just put a dot of glue where I want that and then this is the one um, I made earlier and this has kind of a smaller, a little bit smaller dot on it or a smaller point on it. So all you're going to do is pick up the dot, bring it over, and then it immediately releases. It's just perfect for small layers. I absolutely love it. So that's how easy it is. And then when you're done, like the one we just made, all you do is just take the double stick tape off and it doesn't harm anything and you can re-stick it and it's just super, super easy. The last thing I want to show you is this other tool and there are many different brands of these and it's just a, like a tweezer tool. What I do for this is I'll put it on a, a, a little bit larger layer, I'll lay it down and then I'll put my double stick move this down. I'll put my um, two-way glue, like I said, just let it sit like this until it's dry. Then this glue becomes repositionable and then it makes it so easy. You can just line it up and re I didn't put any glue on it and release it. Super, super simple. I wish, I wish I'd have known. I didn't even know the quick cuts, quick stick tool existed until I saw Christina's video. So 
I wish I would have known that. It's just super easy to use. Well, thanks for watching, and please visit my blog at www.paperboutique.com. I don't even remember my blog. Please visit my blog at paperboutique.blogspot.com for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.